Hello, dear friends. This is your Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you this hour, this moment, just a few moments. I want to talk to you uh, about a very important subject that we find in the Bible. As we think of our uh, theme, Bible Reflections, uh, it's found in Matthew, the 10th, 12th chapter. Uh, and uh, here's what he says. Jesus said, uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. <clears throat> Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And this is, I think, a universal law. That people say what they have in their hearts. They speak about the things that's inside of their heart. And so <clears throat> it's important to know that when you talk, what are you talking about? You're talking about the things that's in your heart. So this means that if a person talks about money all the time, that's, that's what's in his heart. If he talks about uh, his family all the time, that's what's in his heart, it's ruling. If he talks about what he wants and his needs, that's what it's, that's all it is about. If he talks about sports all the time, that's what he's really interested in. Whatever we're interested in, whatever holds first place in our lives, we talk about it. We talk about it. If a person ever talks about Jesus, if he never says anything about the Bible, or God, or, or the church, or spiritual things, it's not a good sign because it's saying that it's not there. You see, we can't talk about something we don't have. You can't give something that you don't have. And so, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we ought to be concerned and um, recognize the importance of our words. The Bible teaches us that it's so important <clears throat> that we learn that uh, to speak, and as we speak, uh, we, we know that it's it's what's what's coming out of our, our mouth is really what's coming out of our heart. The Bible says in uh, in uh, Mark the eleventh chapter, verse twenty-four, Jesus said, "If you have faith and do not doubt." You can say to this mountain, be moved, and it will obey, and you shall have whatsoever you say. And there's a great truth, I think, in those words, you shall have whatsoever you say. And so, you need to just be careful what you say. For instance, if a person says, oh, this is a bad day, I'm going to have a terrible time, then he's going to have what he says. On the other hand, if he says, this is the day that God has made, I will be glad in it. He'll have whatsoever he says. Maybe a person will say, <clears throat> everything's going wrong. <clears throat> everything's going wrong. And this is a terrible time in my life. He'll have whatsoever he says. But if he says, by the grace of God, if he says, everything is working for my good, things are going seemingly against me, but that's good because it's working for my good it's going to work out for the best. He shall have whatsoever he says. And so it's important to know. Someone can say, oh, I need so much, I need so much, and I just haven't got it. He'll have whatsoever he says. Well, on the other hand, if he says, I know that God has promised that all of my needs will be supplied by Christ Jesus. Then I have all I need because I believe in Him. And so, seek to speak the words that God gives you. And be sure that your words will either bless you or curse you. Jesus said, by your words you'll be justified and by your words you will be condemned. And so you see, we're speaking out of our heart that which we have within us. Finally, a word on salvation comes from speaking too. The Bible says in Romans, the 10th chapter, the word is close to you, it's very nigh to you, it's in your heart and it's in your mouth. That is, that if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead for you, you shall be saved, saved from a devil's hell, saved forever. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 
So confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise God. Say a prayer like this. Dear Lord, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord. I believe in him who died for me and rose again. I'm asking him to come in my heart and help me live for him. I'm confessing that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Amen. And you'll be saved forever. God bless you. Remember the importance of our words.